You're right there guys, so welcome back to another video. In this one, we'll be creating a basic weather app using Flutter. This one will be a little bit more up to date than the previous video I made, but we'll be splitting it into a few parts. I'm also assuming that you know a little bit of Flutter and you just want to put those skills into a project. So please subscribe as that will help this channel grow and help me produce more future content. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm using Visual Studio Code. You can use whatever you want. I'm gonna go ahead and open up a new terminal and navigate to my documents folder. And this is where we're gonna create our Flutter project. To create a Flutter project, you type Flutter, create, and then the project name, which for me, I'm just gonna call this weather underscore app. I'm gonna press enter, and it's gonna go ahead and create that for us, like so. Then I'm gonna open up that project. So let's go to documents, weather app, and then we can go to lib, main.dart, and this is where our main code is going to be. I like to start from scratch, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna press Control A to select everything, and I'm going to remove it. We're going to import package flutter slash material dot dart. Then we're gonna type void main run app and then we're going to pass in a material app like so we're going to give this a title of weather app and then we're going to set the home to my app don't worry about this we haven't created that so that's why you're probably going to get the error so let's go ahead and create that right now let's create a class called my app it's going to extend a stateful uh stateful widget we're going to override state stateful widget create state and then we're just going to return underscore my app like so let's just do that lowercase let's create a class called underscore my app that's going to extend state and then my app which is here and then we're just going to override widget build. We're gonna pass in the build context. And then we're just going to return scaffold, like so. Now that we've got the foundation laid out, we need to go ahead and create the actual UI. So let's go to scaffold. For the body, we're going to create a column we're going to add a container within children, container. We're going to set the height to media query dot of context dot size dot height. And then we're going to divide that by two. And then for the width, we just want the full width of the device. So media query dot of context dot size dot width like so. Next, we're gonna set the color to color. And I already have a uh, color code here. I'm just gonna copy this. I'm gonna paste that in here, like so. You can uh, change the colors, do whatever you want with it. We're gonna set the child to a column. We're gonna add children. Let's add a text widget. And this is going to be our location. So I'm just gonna type location. In fact, let's just get rid of this and type location. And then we're gonna add a style to this, um, text style. All right, let's give it a font size of 30. We're going to give it a font weight of font weight dot w900 oops now let's add a uh, another widget and this is going to be a padding widget let's set the padding to edge insets dot only we're going to set the top to 10 and then the bottom to 10 like so we're gonna add a child of text. Oops. And then this is going to be our text.
temperature. So I'm just going to put temp there. We're going to give it a style and then a textile widget. Uh, and then we're going to add a color. I'm just going to set this to uh, colors.purple. We're going to set the font size to 40. And then we're going to set the font weight to font weight dot w900 we're going to add another widget so under padding this is going to be a text widget and we're just going to put in here high of temp low of temp we're going to give this a style and this is going to be a text style widget like so we're going to set the color to color. I already have a, a, a color code, so I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here, like so. And then we're going to set the font size to 14. And then the font weight to font weight dot W600. Now I'm just going to give you a quick example on what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a new terminal. I'm going to type flutter run to run the application on my device. I'm going to press enter. And now I'm just going to switch to my device. And this is what it looks like so far. You can see that it's right at the top. We don't want that. So let's go back to our code and in the column, um, this one right here, we're just going to set the main axis alignment to main axis alignment dot center. We'll press um, control S to save it. And I'm gonna press R, that just reloads the application. Let's press enter, let's go back to our device and you can see that's fixed it. Let's go back to the code. And we need to create a few more widgets. So I'm gonna go down to the bottom and underneath this uh, container, we're gonna create an expanded widget we're going to set the child to a padding widget. We're going to set the padding to edge insets dot all. And then we're just going to give this a value of 20. We're going to set the child to a list view. And I'm going to give this some children. And this is where our weather tiles are going to be. There's two things that we're going to do. And the first thing is we're going to create the widget within children. And then we're going to uh, separate this widget by creating a widgets folder. So we can reuse this widget whenever we want to. So let's go ahead and create a uh, list tile. All right, we're going to uh, give this a lead in and this is going to be a column and you might be confused as to why it's not just an icon. We're doing a column because this is the only way to center the icon within the text. So let's add a column. We're going to set the main axis alignment to center. And then we're going to give this children. We're going to give it an icon. This is going to be icons dot. Um, what is it? Uh, thermostat. Thermostat outlined. Like so. And then we're going to give this a title. This is going to be a text widget. Let's just set the text to, I don't know, uh, temperature. We're going to give this a style of a textile widget. And we're going to set the font, uh, font size to 18. And then the font weight to font weight dot W uh, 600 like so. And let's set the um, subtitle to another text widget. Don't know why it does that. Uh, let's just say uh, subtitle. We're going to give this a style. It's going to be a textile widget. We're going to set the font uh, font size to 16. 
we're going to set the font weight to font weight dot w 600 and then I'm just going to set a color and this is uh, a color that I already have I'm just going to quickly copy this and paste it in there and now we're going to see what it looks like on the actual device so this is what it looks like so far but I want to change the color to purple for the icon so let's go back to our code and it's right here what we're going to do set the color to colors dot purple perfect now let's go to our lib folder we're going to create a new folder called widgets and we're going to create a new file and this is going to be called uh, weather tile underscore tile dot dat let's press enter now we're just going to import package flutter slash material dot dart we're going to go ahead and create a class called weather tile this is going to extend a stateless widget like so we're going to need three variables and the first one's going to have a, a data type of icon data and this is going to be called icon the second one's going to have a data type of string this is going to be called title and then the third one is also going to have a data type of string but this is going to be called subtitle all right next we're going to create a constructor we're going to require so at required this dot icon same again for the title and then same again for the um, subtitle like so next we're going to create our widget build method so override widget build we need to pass in the build context context and then we're just going to return and then we're going to return the list tile that we created so let's go back to main.dat i'm going to copy this in fact i'm going to cut it out and then i'm going to paste it here like so I'm going to clean up this indentation. Make sure you uh, add a semicolon at the end. And then we need to replace the hard coded values with the more dynamic values. So, first we're going to replace the icon. So, let's get rid of this. Set this to icon. And then the second one is going to be the title. And then the third one is going to be the subtitle. So, subtitle nice so all we've got to do now is actually include our widget in main.dart and we can reuse it so i'm going to save this we're going to go back to main.dart and scroll all the way at the top we're going to import widgets slash weather tile dot dart let's go back to the bottom all right and then we're going to create our tile so weather tile which we've just created and then we need to pass in the icon icons dot thermostat outlined we're going to set the title to uh, temperature and then we're going to set the subtitle to i don't know uh, we'll just say 85 like so let's get rid of that we also, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this again and just replace the values. So we'll paste that in there. This one's going to be uh, filter drama outlined. This is going to be the uh, weather. And we're just going to set this to cloudy. Again, all these values are going to be replaced with more dynamic values from the API. Let's paste another one in. In sorry. <laughs> Let's set this icon to WB underscore sunny. Set the title to humidity. And I'm just going to say, I don't know, something percent. And then we're going to do one more. This is going to be waves outlined. Set this to wind speed and I don't know, two miles per hour. <laughs> we'll save that and then we're going to run this on our device. 
and then we can check it out. So this is what it's looking like so far. Um, looks pretty good. I just want to change a few things. I want to add a degree symbol here, up here, and I want to change the temperature. Obviously, it's not real uh, temperature at the moment, but we can change that later on. But I just want to copy this degree symbol. I'm going to paste it here for the 85. And I'm going to go to the top. And I'm just going to put it here and then here. I'm going to change this to um, 85 and add the degree symbol. High of uh, 89. Low of 35. Like so. Let's change this here to 75%. Um, we'll save that. Let's reload our device. Go back to our device. And you can see we've got the, uh, the degree symbol, the uh, temperatures, etc. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. In the next one, we'll be pulling actual data from an API, which will be pretty cool. Please subscribe if you haven't already to see more future content like this. And I will catch you in the next one.